Hey kids, it's time for another Bible story on the Small Catechism. This week, you have been learning the first article of the Creed, I Believe in God the Father Almighty. What does this mean? I believe that God has created me and all creatures, that He's given me my body and soul, my eyes, my ears, and all of my members, that He has given me my reason, and all of my senses, and He still takes care of them. Well, God does. He, he has given us our bodies as a gift, and these are some pretty amazing bodies that He's given us. Let's hear today a story about how God created me, you, and all creatures. It's the story of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let there be light, and there was light, and he separated the light from the darkness, and there was evening, and there was morning the first day. On the second day, God separated the waters, and he put a space between them, and that space he called the sky. And so the second day was over. On the third day of creation, God created the land. And that same day, God said, let the land be filled with trees and plants. And it was. And so there was evening and there was morning on the third day. On the fourth day, God made all the great lights in the sky, and including the sun and the moon and the stars. The next day, the fifth day, God then created the fish and all the things that live in the sea and created the birds and everything that could fly in the sky. On the fifth day, He created those things. And then on the sixth day, God made all the animals that live on the face of the ground. He made the cattle and the wild animals, but He wasn't done yet. He looked upon everything and saw that it was good, yet there was one more thing He still had to make, and that was man and woman. And so, on the evening of that sixth day, God created Adam from the dust of the ground and Eve from Adam's rib. And when God finished making man and woman on the sixth day, His work was completed. And on the seventh day, God rested. And so, God made man and woman, and He still today makes all of us. He's given us our bodies as a gift, these wonderful bodies, and so we should uh, honor Him with our bodies and all that we say and do and, and how we live. And so we acknowledge God as the Father Almighty, as He is.